So this video is going to apply hypothesis testing to a situation that would be um, following a Poisson distribution. We're going to dive straight into an example. Um, since nothing's changed really, we do exactly the same things that you've seen done for binomial. Except this time we're testing the mean lambda instead of before we were testing the, the probability of success in the bi binomial distribution. Okay, so here's our example got a factory that produces bolts of fabric um, with an average of three errors in every 200 meters of fabric. The factory manager makes improvements to the process and tests the first 400 meters and there's one error. Test at the 5% significance level whether there is evidence of an improvement. Okay so we're going to state our variable. X is the number of errors found in 400 meters. And we're assuming a null hypothesis that lambda equals 6. Since we've doubled uh, the length of the fabric we're looking at, uh, we will double the mean as well. So there were three errors in 200, so there'll be 6 in 400. That's if nothing has changed with the these changes that the factory manager thinks that he's done. So this would mean that x would follow a Poisson distribution with lambda 6. And our alternative hypothesis is that lambda is less than 6. We're doing a one-tailed test because the factory manager is claiming that he's made improvements. Not just that he's made a change, but he's actually improved, so there will be less errors. Now, the um, test variable is that there is one error. We're going to test whether uh, that get, comes out with a probability less than 5% or not. So, just a reminder of your Poisson calculation so we're doing x is less than or equal to 1 so we need to add together 0 and 1 and pop them into the use of our Poisson formula and we get 0 0.01735 which is 1.7% so that's less than the 5% in which case we can reject the null hypothesis and make the statement that there is evidence to suggest that the manager has made improvements to the process of producing this fabric. Okay, I'm going to extend that um, with a part B. So the manager monitors the results over the next 2,000 metres um, to test this a little further. He wants to be sure. Um, he finds 16 errors. We want to test at the 5% level where the improvements have been made. So our null hypothesis is that lambda equals 30 if we're multiplying it up to be 2,000 metres. X will follow a Poisson distribution with mean of 30. And our alternative hypothesis is that lambda is less than 30. Again, that he's made improvements and reduced the number of errors. Okay, now since lambda is greater than 15 and we don't actually want to test, you know, we don't want to find the probability that lambda equals 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 all the way up to 30. So we're going to make an approximation here, which we can do because lambda is big enough. So we'll use a normal approximation. We're testing out that there are 16 errors. So if we're doing it with a normal approximation, we need to apply a continuity correction there. So less than or equal to 16 will be less than 16.5. You may want to go back and just have a little look up of continuity corrections if you can't remember. So then put that into um, finding the probability for a z value. So 16.5 minus our mean of 30 divided by the square root of um, 30. And it's a, a left hand side of a value there. So that'll be 1 minus the positive of it. which leads us to this answer, which is less than 5%. So we can reject the null hypothesis again, and we can make we can agree with the factory manager's claims that he has made improvements. There is significant evidence to reject our null hypothesis and accept that improvements have been made. 